Okay, very good. I want to call this meeting to order. Uh, this is a meeting of the uh, RMLD um, Board of uh, Subcommittee on the payment to the town of Reading. Uh, so uh, we actually have an agenda. Uh, basically, the, the presentation was made at the last meeting uh, of the subcommittee, and I don't think we need to repeat the presentation again uh, on that. So uh, one of the things that we asked at the last meeting was that we we uh, the commissioners go back to the commission and discuss the uh, the uh, ice issue with the commission what the presentation that was made uh, basically which was done last uh, Thursday uh, last Thursday right days yes. run uh, sorry days are running together on uh, this, this time of year right. so yeah. um, and basically what uh, the commission uh, really supported uh, I made the presentation on uh, for a period of two and a half uh, the lower the um, minimum of two and a half or the CPI with a ceiling of five percent uh, the Commission came back and, and basically we talked about doing this for two years uh, in the meantime there'd be a study that's being done uh, because it's now come to the Commission's attention although the department tells me they were they were well aware of it before this is that um, the present even the present formula going forward the increases as it goes forward are not going to be sustainable sometime in the future uh, because there's just not going to be enough capital funds to maintain the system as we go forward so um, that's why you know we've talked about doing this for two years getting the study uh, done as to really what the payment to the town should be the only caveat that the uh, commission told me is that if, if there's some sort of catastrophe um, you know, if a, um, a system, a transformer blows up or a substation blows up or we have a major storm that just knocks the system down, that uh, we would have to adjust the payment to the town in order to compensate for that at that point. And, and the point they also wanted to make is that this is, the Commission views this as the, as the starting point. So we're looking for more input as we go forward at this point. So, and that's kind of what we had. If I may. Go, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, so we, we, we didn't come to any conclusions uh, in in the meeting, uh, and we didn't vote on anything. Well, first off, we didn't have two members that weren't even sworn in at the That's time. true. There, <laughs> was, there were three people there, but <laughs> the two were sworn wasn't in. Official. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and and the more I've been I've been thinking about this, I'd like to propose something a little bit different, and uh, that would be uh, to develop first the fact set rather than jump in and make promises that we may or may not be able to to, to uh, fulfill in the next couple of years, given, uh, that we uh, do the study first. The study's not the type of study that's gonna take a year, it'll take perhaps a couple months. Uh, to do the study, to see when the, this convergence comes in, how it impacts us from a financial perspective, uh, the reduction in our kilowatt hour usage is a major concern to us, um, and that ripples through everything else that we do. Uh, so. Uh, I'd like to put on the table that um, for 2018 we maintain the trajectory, the momentum that we have, but uh, not do anything in the next two years, but wait until we get a fact set that we can look at, analyze, that's done by an independent uh, entity, so there's no partisanship involved, et cetera, um, that uh, tells us uh, what, the, uh, the, what lies in the future, and perhaps with some scenarios about plus or minus um, you, know, you know, if the rate, if the, uh, not the rates, but the, the kilowatt hour uh, decreases even more, uh, what impact that would have in terms of the ability of the RMLD to be, s to sustain its present financial uh, robustness. And um, I, I've seen too many things happen over the last number of years here in Reading, and I've been in Reading for, what, 40 years or whatever, and you've all been there too. Uh, where people rush to judgment very quickly without establishing a fact set first and then making a logic, developing a logical conclusion off of that. And so I'd like to propose that we do the study first, uh, initiate it. We have, I think, uh, Colleen would probably has uh, someone perhaps lined up to do it and we have some thoughts about how to conduct it. It'd be a, a relatively quick study um, and, then, uh, and then meet and, and make a logical decision off of that. Uh, so I'd like to throw that out there instead of uh, running to put in a 5% cap and a 25 
percent bond minimum and, and is sustaining it for two years because in those two years we might go negative and uh, I'd hate to have to come back or in two years uh, the town comes back and goes well where's we need more money and uh, you know it just it just begs the issue of let's t slow down just a little bit develop the fact set and understand what this is all about um, so I'd like this uh, finish it I propose that Mr. Chair, do we have an idea of what type of uh, cost would uh, be with that study? Um, the, the concept of the study would be, as John said, the financials uh, going forward. I mean, just recently, just recently, you know, we, we went to a six-year budget. You know, we, we've, we've done a much better job in forecasting uh, power supply. Uh, we've done a much better job of, um, you know, reallocating numbers to FERC accounting. I think the financials are solid. You've all seen that in our recent audit. Mm -hmm. um, but what that's given us is a, a little bit better predictability of, of where we're heading. Um, the, the price of energy in New England is the highest in the country. Um, and if the, if the sales were going to stay flat, it would be a different picture than if they are declining. Um, and they are projected to now decline at least 1% per year. Uh, so that, that has, is recent information that, that puts uh, that convergence uh, into a, I guess, a more real uh, uh, intangible issue uh, on top of OPEB and pensions and things like that and other um, areas where below the line uh, monies that the commission can vote on for where that needs to go. Do we put it into capital so that we can make um, infrastructure changes that match our now 20-year infrastructure improvement plan? Are we going to pay down OPEB? Are we going to pay down pension? So that I would think that the study should look at all aspects of it. You know, we're not just focused on what we should pay be paying out to the town, but where are we in general? Uh, so that that type of information, then the commission can make an informed decision as to where the money can be directed short or long term. I, I agree with that. I mean, I understand that, and we'll, we'll be looking at your capital tonight at our CAB meeting. I was Less than 100 grand. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was just trying to get an idea of what we're kind of talking about. Three here. transformers. <laughs> I just didn't want to say 100 grand first and then say it was only, you know, I wanted to make it seem bigger so that it would be valued. Okay. No, no, hold on. Have any any other input from anybody? Any of the members? Uh, Go ahead. I would have a higher degree of uh, comfort right now if the board had actually taken a voted position on where we're heading on this, because uh, the study kicked around. Um, was there a sense of the body as to the sense? The sense of the body was well, that's to probably good enough, propose the you know the definitely the the sense of the, the commission last week was the two and a half percent yeah. floor or the CPI, the five percent with the two-year study and that was basically right. that was very much the sense of the commission right. uh, everybody was on the same page so this is moving the study back from at the end of two years to the beginning this is step x proposal is that I understand yeah. that's, uh, yeah. that's correct yeah okay. this is I, mean, I guess that makes logical sense mm -hmm. uh, yeah. i mean other than that i would make a motion that we just stay status quo i mean but uh, I, I think the so study for the indefinite future until such time that we could do this study. Okay. I guess what, one of the concerns I'm hearing now is uh, the sustainability of the payments, uh, not, not even be able to match the CPI. Um, that is, is that will have profound effects on how our finance yeah, reviews. Yes, and I, I, agree this, uh, this, uh, I agree with that. Contribution of this. I agree with that. Body annually. I agree with that. And and, and that's uh, we we share that because we're yeah. residents of here too, right. right? I mean, it's not uh, it's not uh, foreign to us that that's the case, but. You, know, you can't get blood from a stone. I mean, if you're you know, no businessman, if their business was declining uh, and they went unprofitable, uh, would have expectations that that you know someone else would that, that they'd be seeing a profit at the end of it. So it's unlike the town. There's no mechanism essentially to you know this two and a half percent every year uh, increase. So there's no rationale to say that we should be keeping up with the town. If anything. It, it, and, and Dan, as you know, it's been a, it's averaged over a long period of time at 2.3%. Yeah. 
So you can pick okay. certain years where it's a 1% or whatever yeah. else, mm -hmm. but um, I think it would have been far worse over time. And, and by the way, if you do inflation adjusted numbers on what has been contributed to the town, it's probably, a, I'll have to go back and do it. I don't, I don't want to quote anything. It was probably in the 40 to $60 million range over an X number of years that the RMLD uh, has contributed. So uh, it's been a very significant amount of money uh, to the town. And we'd obviously like to see that continue. There's no question about it, but you know, it's, we've got to make sure that the, uh, we have a solid foundation to be able to do that. Phil, can I make one more quick comment? Um, the other thing we have to keep in mind too is the above the line payment to all the, all the towns is a two percent of net plant. So, you know, we've been making a lot, a lot of system improvements that are necessary, but that is is raising that, which means that the above the line payment to all of the towns is going way up. And so, what happens is, you know, your your net plant value goes up, but because your sales are down you're starting to make payments that are all based on raising the rates. So that's another part of the study that you want to you want to take a look at. Not that we're um, suggesting changing that, but there's a lot of other factors that are going to be increasing uh, cost as well. Dan, you wanted to speak? You, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I thought the purpose of the subcommittee was explicitly for the uh, payments to the town. Was that right? Yeah. And I, I'm not still sure what the origin of the uh, additional above the line payments to the other towns where that kind of got started and where that got thrown because that's obviously increasing the, uh, the, the drain. Yeah. I, I think I understand from a political <laughs> standpoint. Yeah, right. Well, well thank yeah. God yeah. it is increasing <laughs> the drain <laughs> because you, you've got I don't you know, know, a major you know user said. here. Yeah. <laughs> you now said yeah, it. <laughs> you now said it. <laughs> okay. Any other comments from the – we well, have we have two I, I will here. take this back. Uh, the, the selectmen are meeting tomorrow night and next week, but – this is just going out to them, uh, so I suspect we will not okay. take this up either night, but I will run through what we've discussed okay. and we'll get some comments and bring them back. Yep. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy doing the study, uh, keeping things status quo for now, but we would still like to see it move ahead uh, at such a point where we're prepared to do so. Okay. All right, now we have a request from the audience, and I will let them speak. Uh, Tom, you were you had first, and then Vanessa Bind. Yeah, so just a couple of... Uh, yeah. If you want to... Over. Oh, Come over to the microphone so that the cable TV can see everybody. Mm -hmm. These commissioners, they think they can just yeah. talk from anywhere. <laughs> Comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom O'Rourke, uh, Precinct 2, and Commissioner, RMLD. So a couple of things. I, I'm not sure we've ever said it out loud, but I, I think – because at some point there's an accountability with the town, right? Town meetings coming up, and I'm, I don't know what the plan is for that. But we're giving a report on the 23rd, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I guess for new new listeners and participants, you, you know, I, to me, what happened is uh, a request was made to look to see if RMLD was in a position to make more payments, and what was really going on in parallel was what we've been talking about, a large requirement to continue to invest in infrastructure, which hasn't been done in a long time. Uh, we also discovered uh, significant uh, uh, differences between what Reading uh, receives vis-a-vis -vis payments as w compared to other towns in the similar area northeast, which isn't to say we would or wouldn't do anything more, but uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is the uh, request to make more payment really runs up against the ability to make more payments. And if you look at it, there's really no rationale. I don't know how someone landed on whatever number they did m many years ago, but even though the CPI has been relatively modest, it's not tied to anything. It's an, in, it's an increasing number. It's now at $2.4 million, which uh, is, is substantial. And, you know, if it could be more, we certainly, are, as John said, uh, all of us uh, virtually are, are Reading residents on the, on, on the RMLD and some of us for many years, uh, including uh, myself and Bill and John. So uh, the other thing that, uh, George, the reason I think the study is important is right now it, it, it isn't tied to anything other than CPI. So if we don't make any money, <laughs> yeah, payment is scheduled to go up every year. So that can't be uh, 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 sustainable sustainable so I think what's important is to figure out what makes sense 
uh, and also having sensitivity because I, I, I understand as much as anyone does, uh, you know, Dan, the point about, you know, obviously there's predictability here. So uh, regardless of how much it goes up or doesn't, there's also, you know, the, the, the I compare it to the, you know, the old cherry list, you know, from the state, you know, the cherry state sheets. cherry sheets when you had some predictability, which you don't. So, and I know you're not looking for more unpredictability, but I think the study is important to understand what is going on and also figure out how to tie it to something. So as we make more, you know, relatively speaking, we could pay more, but clearly, you know, we've got two things going in, a, you know, head-on collision, our ability to pay more and, the, the, you know, request to increase more. And uh, I, I forgot what the number is, Colleen, but I think it's important. So when you add the above the line and below payments in below the line, what percentage is that of the total uh, operating income, if you will, for, for RMLD? I think it's 39 percent. Okay. Does that include the both payments? Right. Yeah. So, right. you know, that's I a fairly, if you look at your own yeah. business, so for almost 40 percent of what we, right. we make, so to speak, goes to these payments. So at some point, you know, we're also facing a lot of disruptive technologies, and, and that may require some more investment to uh, be competitive and continue to grow. So, and lastly, I would just say, uh, I think we acknowledged it, so I, th I think what we're trying to do as commissioners, uh, you know, ha half of me you know, wants to do all we can for town. You know, we just went through a very, you know, uh, big struggle with the override and, uh, you know, uh, I think it's a positive result. It will be for all of us, but, you know, we also have to be cognizant that, you know, we have other things that we're, we're battling here and we have a commitment to, to run this. And I think it's been run very successfully. Colleen's team does a great job. So part of it is we want to continue to do that. So. Tom, can I, can I add something though? Yeah. Everybody keeps saying the 8%. That's why I keep wanting to make clear we can make up to 8%, but you don't want to make up to 8% if you have to raise the rates to do it. Correct. That's, right. yep. you know what I mean? So as the net plant goes up, you can make 8% and you can make more and more and more money as net plant goes up. But if your sales are down, then you're just raising the rate to collect it. That's right. how the above the line and below the yep. line ties in to answer your question, Dan. That's, yep. I'm just trying to caution that because yep. we, we will be able to make more money. Right. But but we'll be out of the pack on, on our rate rates and being yeah, competitive. Yeah, I mean, we don't want the town to, you know, oh, the good news is that we're getting more money from RMLD, but, you know, our rates are double. You know, that's not a, that's not a, and it certainly doesn't help the rest Very of the town. Is this study, uh, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Is this Go study ahead. intended to look at uh, potential growth scenarios uh, for RMLD as well as, you know, the status quo? You know, what ifs if uh, North Reading develops a lot of its vacant land, if they receive MWRA water? What, what does that mean for you guys? I, I would think so, Dan. And, okay. you know, I, I think any unbiased study would do that. I mean, looking, okay. looking at both growth yeah, as I'd well as shrinkage, see, right? See that and, and there's always a timing question, right. you know, in terms of how, because I know we've got many more condos coming in town, and maybe there's more yeah. building going on over in Wilmington, which would impact it. And, and, and so, obviously, we well, Hopefully, we'd Walker's Brook Drive right. and vicinity. Yeah. Well, that's why a lot of the methodologies for calculations are based on kilowatt hour sales. Because even if there's a there's a site plan that says, oh, we're going to have you know a, a million condos, you can project that. But until you actually see the sales going up or down, you don't. That's that's your indicator of you know you know how well you're doing. I, I can say that, and I did circulate a uh, sort of the uh, very high level uh, analysis that McKinsey, who's one of the most uh, expensive consulting firms in the world did on the utility industry in the United States and uh, recently, and they projected kilowatt hour sales going down. And so uh, this would basically sort of piggyback on that. Is this an elective institute or any of those guys do studies like this? Um, I don't know. They, they may have some studies. Ago, still around, right? Yeah, yeah. These, uh, I, I don't know. You typically, many times these uh, larger associations will hire a major consulting firm like a McKinsey mm -hmm. to come in and do the study for them. Um, so uh, we may be able to get uh, some additional studies from that, you know, that mm -hmm. you can purchase yeah. certain studies, and I think that'd be great to do. I mean, just so we kind of nail this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Kay. Very good. Vanessa, you wanted to Thank speak you. too? If you want to come up. <laughs> good evening. Uh, Vanessa Alvarado, Board of Selectmen. Is there a timeline for the potential study? Do we anticipate it taking a month, six months, a year? Two months. 
Um, well, we'd have to do probably, uh, I don't, I'm not sure it would be considered an engineering study. First, I have to look at the procurement laws to see where it fits in. Uh, that, that could take some time, not, not a lot of time to figure it out, but mm -hmm. if it doesn't come under uh, energy services or something like that, um, we might probably will have to do an RFP. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, um, well, we may end up doing an RFP anyways because we want to make sure that it's th we get a quality uh, deliverable mm -hmm. on it. But I would say once the scope is written and we select someone, which may take a couple of months to do, mm -hmm. uh, maybe two, three months to do that, they probably would take them a couple of months. So I would say it's, it's probably a six-month window from the time we start, six to eight months from the time we start uh, to get a, a final deliverable with a presentation. Okay. Um, I um, agree with the idea of the study. I think that when we're talking about the payments that are going towards the town, the sustainability of the suggested changes is what's concerning to me because the town budget cannot <laughs> provide uh, the operational, cannot sustain the operational budget on um, inconsistent revenue sources. So if there's the potential for it to change going forward <coughs> at this current proposal that's been put forward at the last subcommittee meeting, um, it, that, that funding change can't be used for the operational budget and that's the primary point of concern. So I would want, before the board came to any decision, I would recommend waiting for the results of the study. Okay. What's the next steps for this group? Uh, when we when entertain we entertain a motion a to lift? Next, yeah. So I think the... Is this the going back to the RMLD board for a decision? Well, I, I think at this point, you well, know, I, I'm... What CAB I'm needs, needs right after this. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah right we're going to this. Yeah. So what I'm hearing now is that we should proceed forthwith with the study. Yeah. That's that's what I I think is the next step. Okay. To, to I put the go get the study done at this point. Did you get an answer on the approximate cost? I was estimating a hundred thousand or less. Um. No more than a hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is are you making a motion on that? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to take a motion <coughs> on that. Yeah. We um uh, we moved to. Yeah, what, what the motion should be that uh, the subcommittee on the payments to the town of Reading moves to um, instruct the RMLD Board of Commissioners and the RMLD Department. I guess just the Board of Commissioners, because we don't, I can't, right. I can't reach into the department. Right. The only person we have jurisdiction over is sitting over there, right. <laughs> the manager. Right. To instruct the, uh, the Board of Commissioners to um, institute the recommended study of the, um, the finances and uh, the and of the department so moved okay is that second okay who will develop the RFP uh, I would say the department would develop the R R RFP does the town want to I think uh, the town should be part of that we might want just eyes on it somehow it could be staff to staff however if you're comfortable I'd, you know just to make sure the stuff we talked about is in it right but uh, Whatever the best way is to do that. Can we, we can send over the scope for review if you want. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the, you know. Okay. Well, because now we could have another meeting. Right. Yeah. And have the scope go to the CAB and the, and the Board of Selectmen. Yeah. Okay. So that everybody's in the, the loop. The scope's going to be somewhat holistic because it's all connected. You know what I mean? It's not, you, can, you can't look at one isolated thing. It all works together. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to make sure all the pieces work. Okay, so it's been moved and a second. Discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Oppose that motion, carried. let the record show that motion carried unanimously 5-0. Okay, and the only other thing I think we've got is the approval of the minutes. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? Chairman, move to approve the minutes of uh, the subcommittee's meeting of February 13th, 2018 as amended. Okay. One comment, uh, my sure. comments regarding the uh, warrant article. I think the more accurate statement of what I said was uh, Mr. Ensminger then stated that he is putting an article on the April warrant to evaluate the sale of the RMLD. I guess to reflect that. Okay. You got that, Tracy? I okay. Already changed. already changed it. Okay. I'll accept that as part of the, the main motion. Okay. Further discussion? Right hand. 
Oppose that motion carries. I so move to uh, approve the uh, subcommittee minutes of March 12th, 2018, as amended. Okay. I'll yep. second it. Too. Okay. Is that second it? All right. Disc any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Oppose that motion carries. 5 0. Thank you. Okay, great. And the minutes will go up on the website, I assume, yep. at some point, too? Yes. Okay, great. Very good. And motion to adjourn. So moved. All right. Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Oppose that motion carries. Adjourn. Thank great. you, everybody. Thank you.